Hi, my name's Josh, and I sing Bless the Lord on Covenant Worship's Reside album. Uh, Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. And I love this part, forget not all his benefits. You know, it's been said that what you focus on expands. Uh, what a fascinating observation. In this passage, we basically see King David pointing his thoughts at the goodness of God in spite of all of his shortcomings and challenges. One of the phrases that makes this psalm so special to me is the simple phrase, forget not. As we move through the different seasons of life, experiencing the mountains and valleys, betrayals, promotions, heartaches, and celebrations, we can sometimes find that when things are going well, our communication with the Father and our sense of gratitude are lacking. This is one of the reasons I believe that David encourages us to forget not all his benefits. When we remember to focus on God's faithfulness in our past, we build up our hearts and minds and we find strength to face any challenges that lie in the future. In the second part of this Psalm, the author turns his focus to the forgiveness of sin, reminding us that in the midst of our mistakes and imperfections, we're not disqualified from fulfilling all that God has for us. As far as the East is from the West, what an incredible picture of grace. We all make mistakes, and I'm sure that all of us would like to go back and retract certain statements or actions that we're not particularly proud of. And that's to be expected and is for the most part unavoidable. What is avoidable, however, is the decision to let those shortcomings take root in our hearts and minds to the point that we disqualify ourselves by continuously shaming ourselves for past failures. Many of us have no trouble accepting God's forgiveness, but sometimes forgiving ourselves can prove to be the real challenge. In these moments when shame and guilt creep in, we have to learn to adjust our perspective. The East is forever separated from the West. The two never meet. God sees you as forgiven, filled with potential and promise, but how do you see yourself? It's easier said than done, but we must learn to focus on what God focuses on. The future He has prepared for each of us is brighter than we could ever imagine. So let's take hold of that picture and run the race we're called to run. For the sake of our spouses, children, and friends, we must learn to see ourselves the way He does, uniquely equipped to make the world a better place, letting go of shame and holding on to grace. Again, what you focus on expands. There's something so powerful that happens when we make a decision to point our thoughts at the goodness of God. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. Thank you for loving us, for calling us. Thank you that your word declares that you give us hope and a future. Uh, Father, I pray that we would take hold of that hope. And, and if any of us are dwelling on shame or past mistakes or just letting guilt overtake our hearts and our minds, Lord, I pray that your peace and your grace would just rest on that. Help us to see ourselves the way that you do, accomplishing all that you've called us to accomplish. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.